I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Fat Joe claims he's responsible for Nellie and Ashanti rekindling their relationship. Listen, let me tell you something. I said about kicks like a teacher just blew a mini mansion in Atlanta on some sneakers. I brought the purses to the verses. Yo, let me tell you something. I, that was on the spot too. Q-Tip was playing me the album. I went to hear the album. He turned the mic around, which Q-Tip is a genius. Turned the mic around and said, start spitting, Joe. Yo, yo, give me a verse. I'm like, what? He was like, yo, come on. And I had to do it on the spot. So I had to do that like a line for line, not a freestyle, but line for line. And I said, I brought the purses to the verses. You know, that night at the verses with, with, with Ja Rule, Rest in peace, Raul. You know, I gave my sister some Birkins. You know what I'm saying? On stage. Jaru thought I was trying to bribe the crowd. It wasn't nothing to do with that. It was just, you know, these women, you know, shout out to my sister. And that wasn't all I brought. I brought Nelly. And now they're having a kid together. And so, uh, you know, when it comes to Rem, when it comes to uh, Ashanti, you know, they've been holding me down for so many years. That uh, they, they, I thought I would do something nice to, for them in front of everybody and, and, and bless them. And so I brought the purses to, I brought the yay to the trap. This Sunday service, y'all got to stop. But it's okay. It's okay because you're a philosopher. Yep, yep, yes. You're a philosopher. Yep, yep, yes. And you know, it's all right when it's hip hop and you critique and you sitting in front of your building or you with your boys and homegirls and y'all talking about who had the best verse or who's the best, Biggie, Jay-Z or not. So whatever the case may be, you know, that is all systems go hip hop. That's what hip hop's about. That's what I grew up in, arguing with everybody who's the nicest, who's the best, who won this battle, who this and this and that. But, uh, to be a philosopher? Yep, yep, yes. Like, so I see all these blogs are throwing up the Saturday Night Special. And thank God some guys who've been in the game so long, OGs could, could garnish this attention and this whatever it is in this social media world. But everybody's a philosopher. Well, I think uh, Q-Tip should have took the snare out, uh, snare out at one minute and 35 seconds. Oh, I think if we would have added this, Oh, uh, if you would have left the 808, yo, man, why don't you shut the f*** up? <laughs> <laughs> yo, let me tell you something. I got to get to this Chris Brown show. If Chris Brown never got into the controversy with Rihanna, we would be calling him Michael Jackson right now. Not like Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson. He is the most talented singer, artist, performer, hit maker of our time. There's nobody even close to Chris Brown. And it's time we move past it. It's been 20 something years that I know of there's no more incidents. Man, we gonna let this lifetime go by without saying the truth. And so what happens is when the truth. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Is an unpopular decision. Everybody gets scared to say it. They get canceled, especially famous people or somebody like that, right? But you know, the streets, they know what it is. Streets always know, they tell you the truth. There's the street still bumping R. Kelly. He's in jail. He did terrible things. They still bumping R. Kelly. So what I'm trying to say is that it's a shame that we lying 
and we're not giving it up to the king of R&B, the king of mute. I mean, you know, the Michael Jackson, you know, we be thinking he could battle Michael Jackson. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm not lying. We, you, if you really look at his body of work and you look at all his hits, you see what he does, you remove from your mind that we don't like it. We don't, we don't like that he had a controversy. We don't like that. We don't condone uh, the Queens. We are here to protect the Queens. We get that. He was a little kid 20 some years ago. And it's crazy because when I look at him, I say like, oh my God, he's an alien. And everybody does too. But you want to roll with the shit everybody be saying. I get it. You know, it's more people that try to be like other people or lash on to be down with other people. You know, he is a... But once he sees somebody, that opens the door for other kids that weren't really to... The same kid so they can get that type of thing. You know, so I'm going to keep my opinions how I really feel from the heart. Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.